Now let's talk about ECG readings on our Woo, which what this is, is it's a way to understand and just read your heart's electrodynamic waves. To just understand your body a lot better, to see what conditions your heart may be going through, or if it's having a harder time to pump blood more than usual. Now all you need to do to access these ECG readings is on the app home screen, you want to click on the health option in the bottom left hand corner, and when you click on this, you can actually see, we can scroll to the bottom here, and you can actually see there's an option called heart screener. And when you click on this, you can actually enable this feature just by clicking on the setup option here and basically acknowledge all the terms of service, confirm your region that you're in, just because all of the different regions have different regulations when it comes to actually being able to use this ECG metric. And you basically want to click on the continue once again and it's going to give you an overview on what ECG is, which it is basically an electrodiagram of your heart's activity. So when we click on next just a few more times, it's going to be giving you just tips and tricks such as taking an ECG regular you can see right here. And on this page, you can actually see what different types of ECGs mean. Now, the green zone means that you have a steady regular heartbeat that keeps your blood flowing smoothly, or the yellow zone, which is when the upper chambers of your heartbeat are regularly causing a fast or uneven heartbeat. So ideally, you're always aiming for the green. A low or high heart rate can affect your ECG readings a lot. And as you can see, you can also share your results with your doctor. And when you click on continue a few times, we click on check and we've just set it up. And you basically wanna choose your wrist location, take a reading, and when you're doing this reading, it's super important you stay relaxed and you just can see there's two sensors just on each side here. There's this small one just on the end stick right here. And you basically want to take your thumb and place it on one side and place your index finger on the other and hold it like this. And just breathe, stay calm, and stay relaxed. And this reading will automatically begin on the app. You can see it says it is calibrating right here. And right now our ECG reading is taking place. You can see you just need to sit still and breathe constantly for about 30 seconds. It's important that you don't have any distractions and you're really just calm and relaxed and not walking or moving while doing this. As you can see, our ECG reading has just completed. Again, it's super important that you stay relaxed while you do. And it's going to continue to ask you a few more questions just to know you a little bit better. You can see if you have dizziness, headaches, short of breath, or any of these things. You can always add them just so you have an understanding of why your ECG reading might have given you the results that has given you. And you can see mine is completely normal. It's given all these checks, but they can also be orange exclamation points on this page. So be on the lookout for that. And you can see my ECG reading is just displayed on this page right here and you can always add multiple just by clicking on this again again they recommend you taking these daily or at least a few times a week just so that you can have the most accurate results possible you can always just click on your readings and scroll to the side to see your different heart patterns throughout every single second of this reading see if there's anything off or that you may be concerned about